We are really excited this year to be awarding our brand new entry fellowship and um, these fellowships are for researchers that are a few years post PhD and will allow them to develop their research niche and gather some pilot data that they can then take forwards into a much larger fellowship application in the years to come. So my project's looking at the intersection between epilepsy and dementia. Um, so we know that these diseases have kind of shared mechanisms and we also know that if you've got one you're at a greater risk of developing the other. And what we also know is there's kind of significant cognitive impairment that we see in epilepsy alone and epilepsy with Alzheimer's disease. And this is something that when I spoke to the SHAPE network, they were kind of really interested in. So my project will be looking at the mechanisms that we see in temporal lobe epilepsy alone and temporal lobe epilepsy with Alzheimer's disease. And what I'm going to look at is using a brain stimulation approach to see if I can improve seizures in um, models of these diseases. And ultimately the goal will be to produce a kind of development of methods that look at using brain stimulation to improve cognition in these models of diseases and also to generate human experimental medicine studies to look at this in people affected by epilepsy alone and epilepsy with Alzheimer's disease. And initially the brain stimulation in my project will be using kind of electrodes placed on the animal to deliver electrical stimulation non-invasively um, which allows us to kind of place specific frequencies into the brain. In the context of human work these are again placed as electrodes on the skull so very similar to EEG caps that people might be aware of in clinics and hospitals and and again, this is, allows non-invasive delivery of electrical stimulation across the brain to target very specific spatial areas within the brain. And really what we want to see initially is just whether we can improve aberrant brain activity in epilepsy and epilepsy with Alzheimer's disease models. And what I'm going to then use is use this preclinical work to inform my future fellowship applications where I really want to look at using this brain stimulation method to improve cognition in um, epilepsy and epilepsy with Alzheimer's disease. But overall this method has kind of loads of potential to look at improving cognition in a various different neurological disorders. Within the Epilepsy Research Institute there's such great access to collaboration with academics in the field but also with people that are affected by epilepsy and I think kind of all of that work together is going to allow kind of us to walk towards these common goals for the epilepsy research priorities and also to develop kind of meaningful impact for people that are affected by epilepsy.